What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my 100% walkthrough for Grandia. Guys, we are on part number 42 right now. That is right, 42, the true meaning of life and existence and everything in the universe. So, what are we doing? Well, first thing is first, I'm going to give a big, big, big thank you to everybody supporting over on Patreon. Grandia is now getting three videos a week on Patreon as opposed to just one on YouTube. So a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting over on there. Also, if you want to become a supporter and, you know, really help out the channel and get extra content, links down below in the description. Come, come have a look. There's lots of benefits. So we are on the Grandior the uh, the imperial ship as it were and we kind of have to rescue fina because you know look this is a game from the 90s it had to have the whole damsel in distress stick okay every every game from the 90s pretty much pretty much had this well pretty much every rpg slash jrpg did anyway like it's kind of it's kind of crazy how many games actually use this but yeah we gotta we gotta go rescue her again because this is like what the third time now we've had to do this luckily enough luckily enough this is actually the last time we have to do it and obviously in the last one as well we did see the reveal of her uh, icarian powers so 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 what does that mean well 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 we will get to use those powers no no spoilers though no spoilers uh, i don't think we can do it just yet i think it's actually um uh, a little bit a little bit later on i don't think we get to use them straight away it's been it's been a little while since you know i've actually paid attention to that like normally when i play grandia i'll just um i'll basically just like run through the game pretty much you know and like i'll just get things as as they come Obviously, normally, like, my Fina's already, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, like, ridiculously grinded anyway. So, normally, like, I don't really, I don't really pay attention and look at when things unlock and that. Like, I just sort of, I just sort of get with the flow, you know? So, that's kind of, that's kind of what's going to happen here as well, probably. Like, I've got, I know there's two different areas where it's very likely to unlock those abilities. It's either after here or or there is going to be a, a rather touching moment in the storyline later uh not not too much further like it's not going to be really far out the way or, or anything like that um but it could very well potentially unlock there i just i just can't fully remember unfortunately all right can i no oh no i see you ran away i was just about to say like can i get that without fighting and yes we can and, oh, I did not want to run into him, though. I wanted I wanted to go for the gold, man. I wanted to go for the gold. God damn it. At the very least, the Grandia is a, a nice short-ish area. You know, there's not there's not a whole lot in here, to be honest. There's a lot of there's a lot of fights against these soldiers. Which by the way, if you're if you're like underleveled or something like that, this is actually a good grinding spot, okay? I want to say good grinding spot, I mean realistically you should probably unlock like heaven and earth cut for justin here basically if you don't have a uh, heaven and earth cut then you might be a little under leveled if this is your if this is your first time playing if it's not your first time playing then it doesn't really matter you know because you you already know everything that's coming anyway so chances are you're you're not gonna need any kind of any kind of grinding or, or anything like that so it's just it's it's one of them if it is your first time playing though i would definitely say get heaven and earth cut here just because this now is roughly the point where you should have your levels in their 30s i mean you'll still get pretty pretty decent exp from that around here so again it's it's just a recommendation you know it's just a recommendation right boss battle so we gotta fight mio saki and shit what's the other one's name uh nana yeah so it's nana mio and saki i i, I always forget one of their names i always forget one of their names man oh god damn it right got away yeah right i remember escaping after kicking your butts 
Pop that out, monkey boy. We'll settle account soon enough. That's mean. How, how could you just come out and call me a monkey boy like that, man? That, that's so that's so mean. God damn it. God damn it. Oh well, we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything special for this. We're literally just gonna leave it on uh, on auto battle. We really don't need to do anything for this fight. We have more than enough damage, more than enough health. You know, so it's just it's one of them. We might as well just let them hack and slash it out. And plus then, you guys can actually see some of the uh, the attacks that they have and how much damage they do. We may end up losing uh, Guido with this. Like, we, we may end up having her die by using auto battle like this. But, yeah, it's only it's only her. You know, it's, it's only her. We, we don't really care that much. Like, honestly, we're leveled so much now. We could solo this entire place with just Justin or just Rap. It really, it really doesn't make a difference, to be honest. <laughs> right, so Trinity Attack is their strongest hit, by the way. It's pretty much where they all just gang up. Look, look at the damage, man. Look at the damage. Remember, though, I do have really good armor from doing the Tower of Temptations. So my defense is quite high. But even, even with that, like, 69 damage on Justin, man. And that's with good armor and, you know, like, good good stats and that from being slightly overleveled. Well, okay, there's, there's no slightly about it. We're definitely pretty overleveled, to be honest. But you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. At least Justine's gonna just absolutely murder it. Oh, why the critical, man? Why use critical, Justine? Come on, dude. Just slash her, man. See, it does basically the same damage. Right, two out of the three are dead. Now, there is actually going to be one more boss in this area. Can you guess who it is? Can, can you guess who it is? Mm. Oh, man. Right. Okay, so. So, so, so. First boss is is done. As you can see, we didn't really get much EXP other than Guido. Guido got quite a quite a decent bit just because like their weapon levels were so freaking low. Ah, a piece of cake, but pretty tough for girls. All right, where's Fina? Take us to wherever that old buzzard ball is. So you think you've been us? That's funny, right, Saki? Right? Oh yeah, right. We just let you in, didn't we, Mio? We did. Oh, yes, we did. It was all part of our plan. It was all planned from the start to give us some time, and you boys fell for it. <clears throat> According to my calculations, the grandeur is now about to arrive at its destination, J-Base. Yeah, and then we'll get all of our soldiers together and beat you all up. Man, so childish. We'll get you even with... Uh, we'll get even with you, Justin, and you too, monkey boy and rabbit man. Oh, poor guys. Look at them go. Now what, just? We have to stop the ship somehow. There'll be big trouble if we reach the base like those oddballs said. Let's see. Just whack it with a sword, dude. Just whack it with a sword. Like, it, it's kind of dangerous, though, you know, destroying an airship while you're flying it. You know? But that's not... That's not that smart! Well... It's gonna self-destruct. I, uh, I guess we need to get out of here. So should we, should we rescue Fina or should we just sort of leave it to it? Now we're gonna, we're gonna rescue her. No, that's okay. I was gonna trash it anyway. Whatever, Luke. We gotta get moving and find Fina. Okay, now we have even less time. Yeah, but at least we're not getting to the base, right? Like small, small victory in that. Like we can, we can be glad about that. We can be glad we're not going to the base. Okay, so there is a bunch of gold in this room. We've already got four of the five bags, though. So now we just need to get the uh, the last one, which is right there. Actually, wait, no, I think there's one more on the other side. Is there one more on the other side? Yeah, there, uh, yeah, there is. Okay, so now, 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 now we have all of the gold. And we can't really uh, do much here. So this takes us to the, uh, the passageway. And this one takes us to bull's quarters this is where we need to go first because we need to rescue fina once we get fina then we go through the uh, the other door oh wait yeah she's not here is she <laughs> whoopsie i completely forgot bull takes her well it's fine we can we can just chase her down there's nothing in that room though but you can you can go and have a look at the nice decorations i suppose also yeah the ship's now kind of on fire don't know how but hey it's it's kind of on fire I suppose it might have something to do with the self-destruct, maybe. Something tells me this ship may not be in such good shape. 
Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Although it totally shouldn't have just split in half like that, man. That, that's bad engineering, dude. That's horrible engineering right there. Like, how it doesn't just, like, crash to the ground right now is beyond me. So, I mean, look, we, we just lost the main engine and the ship's exploding all over the place. How are we still flying? That should literally just come crashing down to the ground. Right? Let's go rescue Fina, shall we? And as you may have noticed, we are now alone with Justin. So that does mean the next boss, okay, the next boss will be a solo fight with Justin, okay? It is going to be a solo fight. Luckily enough, it's not difficult or anything like that. Like, it's it's quite a quite a simple fight, actually. But we'll, we'll talk more about that. Let Fina go. Yeah, let Fina go, ball. <laughs> I'm impressed with so, how calm Ball is, given everything that's going on. That the spirit stones light and the Akarian wings call to each other is not exactly a lie. I'll give the girl back to you, my little Justin. However, only in exchange for the spirit stone. No, no, no. You, you just, you just give me, you just give a back, her. You just give a back. If you give him the spirit stone, he'll just kill you. Please run away. Man, she has no My faith in me. Is about to sink. I can't believe it. She literally has no faith in me. She thinks I'm just gonna which die a horrible, me. painful death, which I mean, technically isn't really that wrong, I suppose. But okay. yeah, you know. I'll trade. Release Fina. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, dude. You are a wise young man. No, Great he's not. He's a dumbass, and we all know it. Angelo are beyond your power. Like we all know, he's a dumbass. Come. He should never agree to that trade. The spirit stone. No, screw you, dude. Idiot. Finally, I have the absolute power of Angelo in my very own hands. Die, you worms. Together with this burning ship. <laughs> I think he's a little bit crazy, guys. Just just a hunch. Like, it, it's just a hunch. But I do think he's a little bit crazy cuckoo, you know? Right, let's climb on back up. We, we still got to save the day and all that, you know? Right. Okay. So now that we've, uh, now that we've climbed back up, we don't really do anything here in this room. So we just have to sort of leave the same way we came pretty much. And then we're back on uh, the, uh, the bow. Don't know how the same door leads to two different areas. Don't, don't ask me. Okay. I have absolutely no clue. Uh, in the next area, though, there is going to be a boss. Oh, wait, no, it's not the next area. It's, like, two areas away. But I would suggest saving here if you are, you know, a little weak or you're not grinded or anything like that. Just, just as a precaution, you know, really. Just as just as a precaution. Right, let's go through the secret passageway, man. We still got, we still got lots to do after all. Right, so the ship is still completely blowing up. And as you can see, we are now on a completely different section of the uh, the walkway. All we have to do is literally just run through and ride the chair up to the uh, the bridge, basically. And then we're going to sort of get like a, an escape pod. Before we can get the escape pod, though, we are going to have to fight a boss. So anybody manage to guess who said boss will be? Like, I'm, I'm not giving anything away. I'm not giving anything away. I just want to know if you guys have guessed it yet. To be honest, you probably already have. Like, these, these games are not that complicated. Justin! Fina! You're a tough little worm, aren't you? But why risk your life from me, a girl? Uh, hello? Hero situation? Damsel in distress? Come on, man. It's, it's obvious. It's like, Karin is mine, boy. You have no need of her powers, and neither do you. You just want to feed her to a giant monster. Right, 
Right. Battle against the big bad guy ball. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Now, once again, I am just going to leave it on auto battle, though, because we're like our ATB is way too fast. And as you can see, we are slaughtering him. We are absolutely slaughtering him. Now, here's the thing, okay? Ball can actually be really, really strong if you are not leveled properly. That's why I suggested getting Heaven and Earth Cut against the soldiers earlier. Some of the things that Ball can actually do is Halnado, Zap, Boom, Pow. So some pretty, some pretty strong spells alone there, you know? But then he also has Healer, so he can heal himself. He has Fiora and Sh which blocks moves and magic respectively and he has vanish which removes all buffs and all debuffs from everybody on the field he actually has some really really good attacks there so if you go in like kind of weak or something like that like i would i would honestly be prepared for trouble like i would i would genuinely genuinely be prepared for trouble he can be a nasty fight and there's the big reveal as well you are ugly, dude. I don't care how many times it takes. I'll put you in your place. Now you know. No human power can ever defeat me, fools. You ugly piece of... Now you really asked for it. Oh, bye, Justin. And there's the Icarian power right okay so we have semi defeated ball but yeah foolish icarian girl choosing to die but it is of no consequence i finally have the spirit stone yeah and you're burning alive dude you're burning alive all praise be to gaia yeah let, let's not praise the giant evil monster that's gonna go around killing everybody please let's let's not do that, that that's kind of that's kind of weird to be honest all right and down goes the ship Time for another romance moment. There's a lot of romance in this game when you think about it. Not complaining though. I think the romance between Fino and Justin has actually done really, really well in the game. Why did you follow me exactly? Why did you jump to your death, silly? Now both of us will die. We'll all lose. Man, the music here is great. Finally, finally, I won't let you go, Joss. Fina? Fina! The love is coming through, guys. Silly. If you were so afraid you fainted, then why? Oh, man. No, we can't die. Not now, not this way. Yeah, I don't think you have much of a choice in that matter, Justin. You you don't have any powers or anything, dude. But luckily enough, Fina does. The Icarian Wings. Man, I love this moment. This moment always, like, sends goosebumps down me. Like, she's really awakening her powers. It's happening. It's happening. And there's the flying manta ray. Because, hey, every game needed, like, a flying animal, right? Like, FF4 had the lunar whale. Uh, Chrono Trigger had the manta? No, Chrono Trigger didn't have the manta. What was it in Chrono Trigger? Uh, I can't remember. Legend of Dragoon had a manta ray as well. Like, lots, lots of games had flying mantas, man. Mantas or whales. No idea why. Vina, is she all right? She's been sleeping for three days. Say, Joe, she'll be fine in a bit. Just being alive is wonderful, right? If you worry too much, you'll go bold. It's all right. That battleship was whiffed out and that fallow ball kicked the bucket. There's nothing to worry about, right, Just Vina, she's awaking up. That's great, Just. And you were so worried about Vina. Of course he was, man. Of course he was. Like, why, why wouldn't he be? That time I thought the sun had come out. Well, thanks to that light, we were able to find you guys. Thank you for helping us wrap, Guido. Fina, are you really alright? 
Justin, I'm sorry because I mean the precious spirit stone. It's all right, Fina. You're much more precious than the spirit stone. It worked out well. When Ball and the spirit stone burned, the weird plans of the army collapsed. Still, I was an Ikarian. Ikarian doesn't matter. Fina is Fina. I don't understand. What is it? Justin, let's go to a lens. I want to find out. I want to know all about the Ikarians and Gaia. If we go there, I'm sure we'll learn something. I too think that's a good idea. Me too. With bald Ed, my father's enemy is gone. But it was such an exciting way to die. If you bring them the knowledge medal, the wiser men of Lane, they should teach you the way to a lens. That's right, let's go to Lane, everyone. Great, the adventure continues. Right, okay, so now that we uh, now that we have that we are once again in the uh, in the plateau as i mentioned a few videos ago we would be coming back here i don't think the enemies have changed just yet i think that's gonna happen uh, a little bit later but we'll soon we'll soon see won't we right, let's have a let's have a look see no the enemies have not changed just yet oh man i can't get past them they blocked they blocked the pathway dude how could they do that to me oh god damn it yeah, the enemies haven't changed yet, so there's no there's no point to grind here. Don't don't grind yet or anything like that. It's like you gotta you gotta wait for the enemies to actually change over to their stronger versions. Then then it's time to do the grinding that you want to because it's way better. But we're not gonna be able to really do that until we get the uh, the next character. Oh, I was kind of hoping I can just dodge through them all, but I guess not. But yeah, we are we are on the way now for a new character. And that's probably when we're going to do a little bit of grinding with that character. Just to, just to sort of get them up to speed, you know, get them, get them some extra howls, get them a few levels and, and stuff like that. It won't take all that long. Like, it's actually surprisingly quick to, uh, to grind that character. Obviously, we do have the, um, uh, whatchamacallit. We do have the double EXP items, which is naturally very beneficial for that. Um, and then, you know, there are a few little tricks, so to speak, that you can uh, do as well. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, there's a few little tricks that you can do as well. Uh, just to speed up the whole the whole grinding process, basically. Like, quite a, quite a lot of tricks, actually. Like, there is, there is quite a lot that we can do. Oh, and I've gone the wrong way again. God damn it. Yeah, don't die. Oh, I was hoping to get around him, man. I was hoping we could get around him. Yeah, there's there's a few different tricks. So we can we can level pretty much everything on this character over than uh wind. Wind with well wind magic with this other character is kind of annoying to level because we only have like howl and howl slash to use with it. Uh well I think so anyway. If I remember correctly, I don't think we have any um like good wind leveling spell i don't think we do maybe maybe i'm forgetting i don't know and i feel like i'm completely going the wrong way right now as well for some reason call it call it a hunch call it a little hunch don't aggro me <laughs> oh damn it i just want to run away man i'm like 60 levels above you things why are you still aggroing me that's one of the things i like about some of the other jrpgs from this time frame once you actually like really over leveled enemies and that they just wouldn't aggro you I, I miss that, man. I miss that for sure. All right, so let's go. Come on, is this the right way or am I going the wrong way again? No, stay away, monkeys. No, I went the wrong way again. God damn it. And that was the third time, man. Okay, fourth time's the charm, right? We'll we'll just take every single pathway other than the one that we actually need. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Right, it should be, it should be this way. Nope, it's this way. Okay, fifth time is the charm. Fifth time is the charm. Look, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay, we'll get there eventually. I'm just looking for the ice crystal that we need to break. God damn it. I literally just keep running into things right now. Just ambush after ambush after ambush. Well, it's fine. We don't really, we don't really need to, um, to care about ambush. Okay, so Fina's learned time gates. How has she learned time gates? Free alive and end of the world. So those are her, those are her Icarian abilities. I don't know how she learned them though because I didn't level magic up. 
So yeah, I don't I don't understand how she just learned them. But those are the uh, those are the last three abilities for Fina. That means now if we if we really really wanted to, we could go ahead and just level all of her magic up to 99. So as you can see, time gate needs wind 33, water 35. Now, depending on the version you're playing, like the PS1 and that, uh, that is actually level 99 for both spells. Okay, that was changed in the remaster, technically fixed. Uh, as apparently they required such high levels because of a bug. I don't know if that was true or not. That's just what people say. Uh, then we have the live tree, which needs 23 water and 22 earth. And last but not least, we have world end, which is just fire 27. So if we take a look at the actual descriptions of the magic. So we have world end reduces all enemies to nothingness. Now that that's not like an actual... Um, uh, that's not like an actual one-hit kill or anything like that. Uh, that's just the, the description. It's just a really strong spell, basically. We have Live Tree, which is basically a, a heal. And then we have Time Gate, which stops time for everybody else. Now, that sounds really good on paper, but it's actually really not as good as you uh, as you might expect, to be honest. In fact, we'll, we'll use it in this battle here, actually. It does not last permanently. Let me let me just say that. It does not last permanently, okay? Let me just uh, defend with Justin. So we can actually get a turn with Fina. But yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't last forever. It only gives you, like, one or two turns. It's honestly kind of pointless, to be honest. Yeah, here's the first spell. It does look pretty cool, though, right? Like, it does look pretty cool. And yes, it does freeze allies as well. So only Fina can move right now. And it also, as you can tell, stops the music as well. Right, so let's go ahead and use her second spell, which is Live Tree. So this one will cleanse debuffs as well. But the main use point is, is healing, basically. However, given the MP cost, it's not super worth it. But you have to admit, though, the uh, the little art animations are great for it. They are great for it. Yeah, as you can see, we were already, like, fully healed and that, basically. So we didn't get anything. Now, the, uh, the little buff icons that were coming up is basically just resetting any and all debuffs. Okay? So, now for the last one. World End reduces all enemies to nothingness. You only get free uses of these even with 99 level 3 mp it is a very expensive spell but you'll see how much damage it does in a second it's pretty freaking strong like i want to say it's kind of the second strongest attack in the game behind having an earth cut and there we go 999 i actually think it kind of caps at 999 like i think it deals that as guaranteed damage so, not really that handy against bosses, but... Oh, I've still got to go do the boulder again, seriously. Um, it's not really all that useful against bosses, but is pretty much useful against any non-boss enemy. Oops, wrong way. Wait, where am I going? Where am I? Uh, no, yeah, I've got to go back, haven't I? God damn it. I've got to go all the way back and go along the other path. Don't tiger on me, don't tiger on me. Thank you... I really don't like how the boulder doesn't stay. I could have saw the boulder stayed in the PS1 version, though. I mean, this is like my first time getting this far through on, on the remaster. Uh, the only other time I played the remaster is uh, when I did the Grandia 1, how overpowered video. But, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that the, um, like the boulders stayed on that version. I don't think they actually disappeared or, or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did disappear. It has been a while since I've like sort of gone this far through the game. You know what I mean? So maybe maybe I'm just misremembering. It, it's entirely possible. It is definitely, definitely entirely possible. Either way, though, we'll soon see. Well, I mean, we won't soon see because that was just me being dumb. Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm just in my own little world right now. 
like i'm kind of i'm kind of dreading what's going to happen later so at the time at the time of recording this uh well if you're watching on patreon i recorded this yesterday if you're watching this on youtube uh, i recorded this like three weeks ago three four weeks ago um i have i have to do the wheel of pain stream tonight so yeah it it's mm, 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 mm. you guys know what to expect from that pretty much so we'll just sort of we'll sort of have to see how we go it's like it'll be it'll be good fun though it'll be good fun but there are there are you know times to worry every now and again about it like just what's gonna be on there how bad's it gonna be you know what i mean but the, the wheel in general doesn't really doesn't really bother me or anything like that like it's all it's all in good fun you know it's all it's all about having a good laugh and just a a casual hangout you know but like that's kind of the best way to describe the wheel to be honest it is basically just a just a casual hangout you know right so we've done the uh, the little snowball now so we can actually go to lane and then once we're in lane we can finally go to a land it's gonna be great man it's gonna be absolutely great please don't no they ran into me god damn it god damn it dude well at least it's not that big of a at least it's not that big of a deal you know it's not that big of a deal at all we can we can manage it we can definitely manage it just fine. Okay, more EXP, which doesn't really do anything for us because we're super, super over-leveled. Alright, so at least we're finally out now. We're finally... No, don't, don't aggro me. Don't aggro me. Don't aggro me. Uh, leave me alone. Okay, now, now we're out. Now we're out. Okay, and as you can see, we are cut off from a few places. Okay, we are cut off now from a few places. Now, one of the things I would uh, suggest is just ignore all of the cutoff points, okay? Uh, try and, like, maybe do a little leveling if you can. Depends on depends on how strong you are. We are going to have a, uh, a bunch of boss fights coming up momentarily. And after that, the enemies all around the world are going to get stronger. So do, do keep that in mind, right? Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, I want to keep all the fruits and the seeds and that because we are going to use them. We're going to keep the warp shoes because we're going to equip them on the next character. Uh, the battle helms we're just going to get rid of. Same with the rescue potion. Energy tom we're going to keep. Spirit stuff we're going to keep. Uh, main gooch we're going to get rid of. Potion, jewel, jewel. Like we're just going to get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Same with the counter. We don't need the knowledge metal, okay? We do not need that. But I'm going to have it equipped anyway, just because I can, pretty much. Uh, the rant knife, we're going to just stash. Like, we, we might as well just stash it. We we don't need it. You know, we, we really don't need it. Like, we can we can use it later, but for now, it's just not really all that important. Right, let's go ahead and heal. Because there is there is going to be, um like, another, another area to do before we go to a lens. And then uh, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to think of what else we have to do. Uh, mm, yeah, no, I think it's just a, a small area actually. Yeah, it's just like a small, quick area that we have to do. There's no there's no bosses there or anything like that. No, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to save, man. I wanted to save. Yeah, there's not there's not much to do in the next area, and then we can go to a land where there will actually be a lot to do. So there's going to be a lot of story in a lens, okay? A lot of story. Oh my god! Why do games do that? Why do they make you press X to advance the dialogue and then have the menu come up with the dialogue? Right, there we go. Okay, save. God damn, man. I, that's one thing I hate about old games. New games don't really do it anymore, but old games do. And it drives me insane. It absolutely drives me insane when that happens. I mean maybe maybe other people will know the frustration but yeah it's it's one of my worst nightmares in jrpgs older jrpgs i should say anyway though everybody i am afraid to say we are going to be ending this video right here still though i really really hope you guys have enjoyed if you have then please be sure to smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below as it really really does help out the channel and of course 
a huge, huge thank you to all of the lovely, lovely supporters over on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much for the support. And obviously, if you want to get extra grandia videos as well, there are free videos going out on Patreon every week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then obviously, there's the uh, the one releasing every Sunday on YouTube. So right now, for example, this is part number 42. That will go out on the 21st of May on YouTube. And for reference, uh, the 19th, which is the uh, the Friday, that's going to be part 50. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, there's another eight parts available on Patreon right now for you to watch. And then by the time we get to part 43 next week on YouTube, there will be 53 parts on Patreon. So there's there's a lot that you guys can watch over there. But as always, though, everybody, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you soon.